come out and face me, Risley! Hmm. Aren't we at an administrative office space? Why don't you at least try to follow even a couple rules from the Fortress's indoor management regulations? What did you do to my sister? I ran into the young miss at the infirmary. I'd heard that she was suffering from quite the migraine, so I decided to invite her over for a cup of tea. I do have some teas in my collection that can work wonders against such an illness. Stop joking around! Where did you take my siblings? I have also heard that your performances are quite the spectacle. Miss Lynette would sometimes enter a box filled with water, only to emerge the next second from another place altogether. Maybe she'll appear behind you right now if you were to turn your head. Is he trying to trick me into turning my head? No, he's probably not looking to attack me right now. All of the hostages are in his hands, and he's even in the mood for small talk. That means Lynette is probably still alive. You knew we were investigating the infirmary from the start, so you deliberately aroused the Traveler's suspicions and baited us into continuing our investigation just so that you'd be able to kidnap Lynette. <sighs> As for Fremini, no, you probably didn't even interfere with Child's escape. You let him go so you could purge the Fatui members that we had planted into your ranks. There was no need to do so. The Fortress of Meripeed is a pretty pleasant place. Most people enjoy their lives here. The only ones who act differently are those with personal agendas. It was quite easy to identify your colleagues. You removed our original members and spread the news of Child's escape so Father would assign our team to come down and investigate. Fremine has also fallen into your hands, right? If you're oh so omnipotent and so in control, why would you need hostages? One correction. Lynette is in my hands right now, but Fremine is not. He's not? <sighs> what do you really want? Lenny! Oh. Wonderful. Everyone is here, so I'll only need to say this once. Thank you so much for cooperating with me. I'm eager into the point, I see. Alas, only Miss Lynette is currently having a cup of the Fortress's finest tea. Although, as per your original plan, Mr. Fremenet should also have returned to the Fortress by now. But he has neither shown up within my gates, nor has he been taken into any kind of custody. So, where do you think... He may be right now. Wait, you can't mean... You locked him outside in the sea? I closed the fortress's gate to the outside world. That's all. Fremen is a star diver, so he should be fine, right? No, we're still here, so he'd definitely try to find a way to come back for us. So we can't assume he might have made a break for the surface. But why would I do this, you may be asking? To have an audience with you, of course. My intel tells me that Mr. Linney is a great magician, so it's only natural for me to want to have some cards of my own when it comes to negotiating. Besides, I do recall you mentioning to Miss Lynette that you've always wanted to have a face-to-face -face meeting with the Lord of the Fortress of Meripede, regardless of whether it was in a personal or a professional capacity. Well, you got your wish. So... You've been keeping tabs on us before we even set foot in the fortress. Some of my folks just happened to hear a thing or two, that's all. In any case, I will be straight with you. I was willing to play dumb and turn a blind eye, so we had a pleasant few days playing games together here. But once you started focusing on the Forbidden Zone, all of that changed. Mr. Linney, the cards are stacked against you right now. Miss Lynette is in my hands, and Mr. Fremenet is still slowly being pickled out there in the brine. You know just as well as I that he cannot last out there forever. You need do but one thing to guarantee their safety. I would like you to contact your superior, and ideally invite her over for a cup of tea with me. You want to see Father? <laughs> but why should she bother giving you an audience? Well... If she cares for the well-being of her dearest children, she should have plenty of motivation to join me for a parent's evening. I've heard that the bonds between the members of the House of the Hearth are like the bonds of family. I don't see why she would refuse. Why did you think Father sent us to handle the Fortress of Meripede? This place is basically a no-man's land. It wouldn't be fitting for anyone as important as a Harbinger like Father to come here in person. Oh, I see. 
So it's because she doesn't care for my place here. That's such a shame. After all, I've amassed quite the tea collection. I was looking forward to sharing it with her. Both Monsieur Nervillet and Lady Farina have already received many samples as gifts. Was this the extent of your master plan to get to father? No matter how much pressure you may put on me, I won't allow you to use us to blackmail her. You people really are difficult to get along with. All I'm asking for is a face-to-face -face conversation. Does she truly have no interest in the fortress's secret? Mr. Linney, you have one last chance to invite your father here. If you refuse... <sighs> Instead of asking why I'm doing this, why don't you try to see things from my perspective for a second? From the very beginning, the Fatui has been actively infiltrating my fortress. I gave you a warning by cutting off the first few operatives I found, but that only caused you to double down. Had you given up on the fortress then and there, I'd have no reason to want to talk. Mr. Fremenet left the fortress on his own, and Miss Lynette tried to pry out my secrets right in front of me. No matter how you look at it, the responsibility for this falls on you. I... I shouldn't ask Father to do anything because of us. Six. Five. Wait, I... Two. One. Time's up. It really is a shame, Mr. Linney. Risley! Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for my afternoon tea. <laughs> yeah! Listen to the Traveler! If you can't talk to Linny, can you at least talk to us? You do realize that I'm only letting you go because of Nervillette, yes? You're here helping him out, and I've already done my best to stay out of your way. But that doesn't mean you can just do whatever you want. The fortress may be small and remote, but it still has its own set of laws. Hmm... Then how about this? Those who are capable deserve respect. You've spent quite some time investigating my home turf by now, so why don't you tell me a thing or two about what you found, hmm? I'll ask you three questions. Answer all of them correctly, and I'll agree to your request. Question one. Regarding the hidden rules of the production zone, what is the truth behind the one about not being allowed to work for three days in a row? zone. People are not supposed to work three days in a row, and if they do, they'll get strange meat in their welfare meal. At first we thought this strange meat must have something to do with the people who disappeared, but in reality, they were all prepared by Sijuin, the head nurse. She often visits the production zone to observe the workers' health and makes a note of anyone who has worn themselves out after three full days of work. Out of her sense of duty as the head nurse, as well as her genuine concern for the workers' health, Sijuin visits the cafeteria right before lunch and cooks an extra dish for those who can use the stamina boost. Sijuin has only the best intentions with her surprise gift and doesn't want anyone to find out about what she does. However... Unfortunately, Melusines as a race perceive the world differently from humans, and their sense of aesthetics is even more alien to us. The recipients of her lovingly prepared special meals cannot taste the care within and usually just freak out. Are we on the right track? <laughs> Not bad. You've uncovered Sijuin's secret and even guessed her intentions correctly as well. It's nice to know that her efforts have not gone unacknowledged. All right, now for my next question. 
There are also some hidden rules in the Pancration Ring, including the one that you're not allowed to support both sides of a fight. Why is that? Acknowledge the effort you've put into bringing the truth of this mystery to light. Although, based on your description, that Fanta promoter is a bit too careless with his words, I may just reconsider my collaboration with the company. All right, and here's the final question. What's the secret behind our head nurse and all of her patients in the infirmary? Stop your cruel and pointless games, Risley! You know that we haven't finished our investigation, so there's no way we can answer the last question! The thought of sparing Lynette and Fremine never even crossed your mind! You'll pay for this! <laughs> Lenny! Are you alright? Oh, <laughs> close one. I owe you, Sijuin. That was a fantastic shot. There was nothing, Your Grace. See, Jween? Though this gun may look like a toy, it's actually fully functional, as I just demonstrated. See, Jween? You... <sighs> Not at all. I am merely a resident of the fortress, and thus protecting it is my duty. When Monsieur Nervulet asked me to come here, he told me that my job would be to take care of the well-being of everyone here. I am merely discharging my duties. But if you mean what you just said, then isn't Linny someone you should be looking after as well? Isn't he a resident here just like the rest of us? But I really am just doing what Monsieur Nervulet told me to do. Everything I did, I've done to protect them. Had I not, they would be in far more dire straits right now. His Grace knows it too, right? Your Grace? Mind proving my innocence to them? <sighs> my dear Sijuin, whatever shall I do with you? Would it have killed you to just wait another minute or two? Well, it's nearly time after all. <sighs> the way you do things can be truly frustrating sometimes, Your Grace. I figured I should try to talk some sense into you. What are you talking about? What time? Take me if you want, but let them go. Mm hmm how touching. Can you just give me one more minute? Don't be like that, Your Grace. All right, everyone, calm down. Two more visitors will be arriving any time now. I'll go get a cup of tea. Miss Sijuin, I leave Miss Lynette in your care. You... What are you doing? I believe I hear footsteps.
Some space, please. Ah, Miss Clorand. My door. Fremenet! T... Fremenet! What's going on? What is Clarine doing here? Work. I'm sorry about shooting you, Mr. Linney. The tranquilizing effect will begin to wear off soon. Please take it easy in the meantime, though. What happened to Fremenet? Wasn't he diving just outside of the fortress? Why is he looking like... like this? A flushed face, an accelerated pulse. He must have consumed primordial seawater. What did you say? Uh, please, make some space. I'll need to give Mr. Fremini a more thorough checkup. Your Grace, I'll leave the rest to you. I'll talk to Clorand while you get Fremenet to where he needs to be. Everything else can wait. <laughs> <laughs>